It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll see the Golden Eagles leader at quarterback. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Golden Eagles in the orbits. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, between the Orlando Orbits and the Mexico City Golden Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Mexico City team as they interplay here. They're hot as can be, winners of eight of their last nine games. I don't know if you call this start a surprise exactly, but they've proven that they're going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Orlando Club, they come into this one fresh off a victory that finally snapped a six-game losing streak. And there's nothing like that win that makes everyone happier in the locker room, better on the practice field, and they usually play a whole lot better that next game out as well. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And here are the key inactives for this one, Charles. And as you get towards the latter stages of the season, you hope that this is a clean graphic with no names, but well, that's hard to do in the NFL. Yeah, there's almost no way you think it's going to be like that. It's just a matter of what names are on the list and how you prepare to play without them. Everyone wants to finish strong, but the only way to do it Forget the inactive list and focus on the guys who are going to take the field. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Looks like a nine yard loss. And it also brings up fourth. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they'll be let out by their eighth-year quarterback. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He's able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. But you look at this defense. Uh, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. And what I saw on film was nearly an unstoppable pass rush. They had five sacks last week, plenty of hurries. So now do you just max protect that offense, keep everyone in, and run, you know, one or two receiver routes to make sure your quarterback stays up? We'll see if find out. If they want to first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Operating from the gun. Malone, he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this 
crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And for the moment, they're sitting pretty in possession of that number two seed. But as we know, it often happens. This is all still subject to change. Uh, you're so right about that. But even though the math isn't there yet, I think it's going to take new math for them not to make the playoffs. They're almost certainly going to be in the tournament and certainly going to be a dangerous team if you have to play against them. And right side, they're going to go option here. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. On the ground with Ward. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 32. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film. Just be you. Enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. Now a throw here. Hold in. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 70th catch for him on the year, and like so many others, this goes for a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Back to throw. 
Malone looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Morris. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. On third and two, Malone got a man, and he hits him in stride. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kid who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Right side catch. This is Gates. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here's second and seven. Now Ward. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. But you look at this defense. They've certainly had their struggles against the run at the 30th ranked unit out of 32 teams in the NFL. One thing players always tell us is that they never really pay attention to numbers. I don't believe them for a second. <laughs> they know where they rank, okay? They're, they're, you know, they're not quite at the top, but they're far from the bottom. But let's face it, they want to move up. In order to do that, they've got to look at each other and make sure everyone's taking care of their assignments in order to play the run better. They run it with Ward. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten, as they've got things rolling on this drive. He'll look to throw. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Second and six. It's now second and six. At the 32-yard line. Here's Ward. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. No gain on the play. It's third down and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. On to the second quarter, Mexico City in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And his kick is absolutely perfect. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still a very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. Orlando takes back over on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. 
A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Malone. And that's going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Back to throw again. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. The drive had started well after a punt last time. Now it's slowed down a bit, and let's face it, they don't want to punt the ball back-to-back -back series. They want a sustained drive on this one. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Thomas. a lot better had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver and i tell you what he got it from 58 that had lots of leg behind it and they are on the board trailing now at six to three so that kick gives him their first points of the game cd and it comes on the third drive but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle, completes this to Ward. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs. First and 10 after roughing the passer. The tight end in motion right. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Ward. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Now a second and ten. They'll look to throw here. And that's complete to Gates. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll get this into the hands of Dylan complete. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Second and five at the 34-yard line. Up the middle they go. Gates, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On third down, Moore. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, currently the best in the NFL converting up third down, so there's no surprise there they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And inside the 20 before he's put it down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. First down, it's Ward. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Golden Eagles are able to add on to that lead. And this is where you can't help but think about our friend, the coach, the late John Madden, because this was his kind of football right here. Line him up and let him get after it down in the trenches. And as a running back, you just need that one crease, one side of daylight. He finds it, and he barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, coach, just like you would draw it up. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Orlando takes back over on offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Now Thomas. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and three. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game, offense. And they're not going to get this one off in time. It'll be a delay. Still third down. And the delay of game penalty makes this much more difficult. Third and eight. To throw is Thomas. That is caught. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Thomas will look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 30 yards. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. 
You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. On first down, Thomas. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off the bootleg, Thomas. He finds his man complete. That's Murray. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Steps away to his left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. It's their quarterback with touchdown number seven on the year. And the orbits are back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead down to three at 13-10. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Now back to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Take it at the 37. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. Orlando takes back over on offense. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit, but they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Well, let's face it, all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game, all the scouting reports, the practice, the repetition, sometimes you get a little bit of a lull to start things up. Maybe you get a little flat. If you put in that time, you put in that effort, it can come back to you, and that's what we're seeing so far. Now can they keep that momentum going? Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And then folks just dropped a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. 
Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Had to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So they bring out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. And that'll be complete to Dillon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. They'll look to throw now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Townsend. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Again, he'll drop to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Brings up third down and four. They'll look to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now a timeout called for by the offense. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll drop to throw. He'll get this to Ward. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short gain. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Looking to throw. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. This time, they stay on the ground. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And a throw right sideline is complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A field goal the difference, a tight one through two quarters, and we are back and underway for the third quarter. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. As they begin their second half here, Charles, offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Off the play fake, Thomas. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Here is third and five. Back to throw. Thomas. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. And boy, before the drive even starts, here's a timeout. Wow. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Ball on the 27. Here's second down at a yard. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. It's Dylan again. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him the first down. They'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's McKinney. Official foul. Rubbing the passer. Defense. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Back to throw. That's complete to Ward. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a handoff up the middle. Gates. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back to throw now on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll set up to throw. And he'll 
take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Point after try forthcoming. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive spanned five plays. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Orlando takes back over on offense. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Here's Thomas. Time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Thomas. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well timed there, and now fourth down. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the line. Look at the big man. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Now for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20 to 17. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On play action, they'll throw. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Over the middle, complete. It's Townsend. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And on now is the punter, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt.
Now Thomas. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Dean. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. Don't mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Up the middle they go. Whitfield, he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Thomas will look to throw. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. To throw is Thomas. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They'll run on first down. Whitfield, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Off the bootleg, Thomas. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. You know when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow. This guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. He'll try again. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Now Thomas going to throw on third and goal. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a four-point game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They had things a little spread out there with four wide receivers, and it opened up a running hole. Yeah, not only do you get better running lanes because you are spread out, oftentimes when defenses see four wide receivers, they substitute in extra defensive backs, so you're blocking smaller personnel. That gives your running back a nice chance downfield against that type of a defense. Second and seven, operating from the 34. They'll try the left side. 
It's Ward. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A four receiver set here, third and five. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Ward. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They're going to look to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit. Because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off. Because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor, for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. There they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Just because you got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this into the hands of Dillon, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is caught. Touchdown. A big play there. 55 yards. And the Golden Eagles use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team and then following through, all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now a toss coming right side. Moore, and he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Orlando takes back over on offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Here now, third and a yard. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Well, they bring their punter out there now as he's on here to punt it away. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Now back to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Orlando takes back over on offense. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine to pick up the first. On third down, Whitfield. And a good-looking 
can run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Looking to throw. Thomas. Over the middle complete. It's Reese. And all the way down inside the five to the four. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards. Second down. Second and goal from the one. And they'll run again. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the orbits have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they up their lead to three. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. They go back to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Well, they had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But oh my goodness, just too much air under the ball, and he knew it right away. And it's fielded at the 34. Shifts by him, and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Orlando takes back over on offense. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now, they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complimentary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Back to throw. 
Thomas. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. On first down, Thomas. Wide open receiver complete. Call that a very strong gain of 24. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. And that's off the mark, incomplete. First of foul, roughing the passer, defense. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he sidestepped one man, but reinforcements come to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. They'll run here on third and goal. And he won't get to the marker as they're going to stop it for a second straight play right at the line of scrimmage. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Townsend. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's a second and seven. They'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Townsend. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Townsend. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. He's back to throw. Throw left side taken in by Palmer. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. And he's in for the touchdown, and barring a miracle, the extra point can win this football game. The dramatic score to tie it, and now they just need the PAT to get the lead late fourth quarter. So much for the touchdown maker. It's all about the extra point attempter. And I can't wait to see how this one turns out. So they're not home yet. Still a critical extra point here to break the tie. And they have got the lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown and the ever-critical extra point. So it is a one-point lead here in the final minute of action. 
And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Thomas. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Here comes second down. Operating from the gun. Thomas. Throw left side complete. That's Dean. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. One final shot. They'll look to throw. A throw right side here going to be incomplete. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for Mexico City, it's a 10th win on the year as they move to 10-3. and three, And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Orlando, any slim hopes they had at a playoff berth gone now as they drop to 4-9. and nine. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.